6.35, we check back in now with Mike Apple for the latest in business news. And at 5.45, we're taking a look at Amazon stock prices. Uh, they were at $2,200 at the time? Is uh, it? 2000 Two, Oh, just 2000 Okay, just sorry. Only 2000 ahead, Only 2000 I'm getting ahead of myself <laughs> here. And has it gone up since then? Uh, yeah, it's just above that $2,000 threshold. Good morning, Tammy. First time ever that Amazon, the world's uh, most valuable and largest Internet retailer, has reached this historic milestone. Not quite at a trillion-dollar total market value but getting close within $25 billion. Of course, Apple was the first to do that a few weeks back. But you look at Amazon's history, and yes, if ifs and buts were candies and nuts, every day would be Christmas, right? So back in 1997, could have bought Amazon for $18 per share. Stock splits and dividend reinvestments and such. A $100 investment in Amazon in 1997 would today be worth $125,000. There you go. Company keeps on making lots of money, justifying its elevated stock price. Apple also hit a record yesterday. It was uh, above $223 per share, and we've had actually four days in a row for records for the S&P and the Nasdaq. Trade talk update this morning. NAFTA negotiations down to the wire, sort of this artificially imposed deadline that the Trump administration has said for tomorrow, get a deal done. Of course, these trade talks have been going on for the better part of a year. But uh, they want to get something done. They've been talking all night and continuing into the morning. Lots of coffee uh, being consumed, likely. And uh, still, spotlight on the dairy industry, whether protections there will stay in place on the Canadian side. And a lot of people in the auto industry, certainly on this side of the border, in Windsor specifically, waiting for uh, updates exactly how the auto industry will be affected by new trade rules likely to be imposed in this three-way trade deal. Canadian Economic Report card due this morning. Stats can set to report on uh, the growth of the economy in the second quarter. If that's a blowout number, expect some pretty big talk that uh, next week the Bank of Canada will be potentially raising interest rates. Also this morning, as we're coming into the Thursday trade, last uh, one of the last uh, trading days of the month, we're getting close to it here. We've got cannabis companies coming in at all-time record highs again on Bay Street. They skyrocketed yesterday after a BC-based company, Tilray, reported earnings. No earnings. I mean, very negligible considering it's got a $5 billion market valuation. But uh, big question, will these cannabis companies be the Amazon of tomorrow? The way their stocks are going, it's possible.